Well, hello and welcome. We're back with some Gimli battles, um, or one of them at least. This is the North Edge, and it's built by. Uh, let's see here how it was. I think it's built by setup. I think it's a fan build ish of uh, Kevin's faction. So, um, Kevin has, by the way, designed some very beautiful mouse mats that uh, you can get with another build from Setup. So Setup and Kevin has been uh, working together <laughs> many times before. And they're a great team and fantastic people, both of them. So in any case, this is the North Edge. It is a considerably cheaper craft than a Gimla. <clears throat> but this thing uh, is uh, oftentimes listed as one of the strongest ships there is for uh, its uh, cost. Uh, uh, and it, it is a very exp uh, it, it's a very effective design. We have cram cannons here. Um, and it's just good. It's also covered in uh, Repent or Perish. Uh, in uh, mostly, I think, Old Testament um, messages. <laughs> so it's um, it's like that. Uh, we're going to test it against the Gimla, and this uh, th the North Edge is much cheaper than the Gimla. But again, this design beats a lot of ships more expensive than it. Because Setup and Kevin are both really good and advanced builders and they can build some absolutely stunning things. Now I I, I just I'm I'm sorry, I just don't remember uh, if what was it that Kevin built it and that setup did the decorations on it? I don't quite remember. It's some type of um, I, it's some type of teamwork. It has too many screens, so I should have turned them off before the battle. But in any case, here we go. It's a very strong and effective design. The North Edge is uh, most people put it in the. Uh, oh yes, we took out many of those cramps. They're scary. Most people put it uh, with one of the better designs there is. Oh my God in the price range it is at, at least so it is of course a oh no look at that look at that that's scary I'm just checking the insides a little bit here because it just melts through so I want to check if the Gimle can beat the North Edge um, it is as said a very formidable design uh, so I haven't tested it myself, myself, but I do believe that the North Edge, despite its low, its uh, low cost, does beat the Ragnarok and the uh, the Titan Slang any time of the week. And I guess I shouldn't say that if I haven't d done the tests, but I have some memory that somebody tried and it does. It's in any case put there as one of the stronger designs for the price class. So it's a good one. It is a good one. That's probably some battles that uh, that can come up in the future. But right now we're gonna test the North Edge against the Gimle. Gimle is at 98 percentages and the North Edge is at 92. Which is very interesting indeed. I think the North Edge is normally red, but I uh, selected some other fleet colors for it. I love the camo though. And and like all the details, it looks so cool. Setup is so skilled with detailing stuff. The fool says in his heart, there is no god. They are corrupt. Their deeds are vile. There is no one who does good. I see. In any case, <clears throat> I 
So, uh, we'll see how the North Edge deals with the Golden Hall of the Gimle. The North Edge is down to 80 percentages. That makes me really happy, because that means that I do believe that the Gimle is able to beat the North Edge. Which uh, would, uh, would make me... Oh my god, did you see that? Holy moly, that's... that's a detonation. This is a lot of heavy armor, man. Any case, you know what? I think we're gonna do like the steampunk turtle battles. If the Gimli indeed wins this one, we're gonna put it against two north edges. That would make the Gimli um, out, uh, outmatched by Ish. Oh my god, it's sinking! It is sinking! Ah ha ha ha. I'm very happy. We're gonna make it pitch. We're, we're gonna pitch again uh, two north edges against the Gimle because then it means that the Gimle will have a material disadvantage of uh, four hundred thousand. I think. Let's get back to that. Look at that, one point four five. Wow. So that's basically, man. That's that's two point nine. Two point nine million. That means that we're outpaced by, what is it? It's like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that's 700,000 materials. The Gimli will have a disadvantage of 700,000. Yeah, well, there is absolutely no chance that we're gonna win this. All right, here we have them. Look at these boys. They look much better in Scarlet Dawn colors. I don't rem I, I don't have um, I don't have Kevin's fleet colors for the RN faction um, as a pre-saved thing. I actually only have <laughs> my fleet colors as a pre-saved thing. Even though I have a tutorial <laughs> on how to teach you <laughs> to add the Army of Jumanism fleet corners as a secondary. But anyways, I guess that's um, that's my uh, um, content creator privilege. Um, it's of course optional, but if you know, if you're if you're enjoying some Jumanism, Army of Jumanism stuff, you should probably have the Army of Jumanism as a uh, preset, shouldn't you? You should. You absolutely should. In any case, uh, I'm gonna try and be a little bit quick here. I'm gonna see wherever. Just see what comes in here. Let's see here. I wanted to see them fire. Because I wanna see. I wanna go to slow motion. And see what happens. Ooh! It kind of only penetrates halfway. Well, that's disappointing. Let's go back to full speed. I wonder if the north edges have a collision avoidance. I, I'm sorry, Kevin. Uh, your ships doesn't look the best in Scarlet Dawn. I know you have more white and stuff. They look much more... Um, they look more angry with your colors, but I just don't. I just don't have them. Looks like the north edge is lining up in two lines here. Now it's hard to see the shots because it's so like we are in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have entered a degraded mood. Just kidding. I think we had degraded mood kind of from the start. Well, let's follow these crams here. They're really competent crams. Both Setup and Kevin are excellent builders. So so I do expect us to take some heavy damage here. Look at that. I hope our AI doesn't get sniped. That would be kind of unlucky. But definitely possible. There is like a reason that the Gimla has mostly crams. By the way, if that wasn't obvious. What? There we follow this. Oh, they went through. Look at that. Ain't that cute. We have torpedo decoys here. 
So then it means that my uh, interceptors have something to do, which is great, I guess. All right. Repent or perish, they say. But will the two north edges with the material advantage of 700,000 that's like half a BBS fifth season. Be able to beat the Gimle. The Gimle is severely outmatched in terms of materials, but also in competence. Setup and Kevin are very good builders. So um, I, I, I still expect the Gimle to lose this battle, which uh, we shall see about. But I'm very happy that the Gimle can beat one of them. Like, one North Edge, the Gimle beats the North Edge, which is good. Uh, but uh, beating two North Edges is probably too much to hope for, isn't it? Alright. Let's stay here in the Golden Hall. Look at that. The chandeliers and everything are ready. And we have some uh, holes in the wall, but whatever. Uh, they missed. Day two. That's good. One if they're targeting hot blocks and that they are trying to target my heat decoy, which stands around there. What's what's oh it's a bit sad, isn't it? Isn't my civ system going to do something about this? Hard to tell. I think it's time to check. Who <laughs> no? I think the weak point of the Gimle is actually its AI. Let's just check it out a little bit here. See that it hasn't taken. Seems to be intact. They seem to be okay, okay here too. Yeah, seems that the AI is intact, but yeah. Who knows? My packs are packing. I do believe that my disruptor conduits, these boys, do provide a lot of uh, firepower in terms of just disabling the enemy's shields. Now, I'm not 100% that the North Edge uses shields. Because I don't see them. Maybe, maybe they're invisible. But I just assume that every good battleship uses planar shields. Because planar shields are better in general for most for most things. I mean, you can deflect like 30% of cram shots that are incoming. And if you can just like... If you, if you can deflect the first volley of like doom crams coming at you you have a considerably higher chances of winning that battle because yeah all right we got some small caliber stuff popping in there look at that they're dealing time tiny damage against the sides here oh no that was some sc Oh, look at that. They've exposed the interiors of the Kram cannon. Not good for the Gimle. Oh, no. Is it just me or... Ah, the AI's exterior layer has taken a lot of damage. Makes me not happy. Gimli is down to 90%. T Team North Edges. They're at 85 and 92. Hmm, it's actually pretty even, maybe. Whoa. Ah! No! Poor Gimli. I wonder if this I wonder if this cram is gonna fire blanks now. It's not looking too happy, is it? Ah! More shots incoming. 
I think it feels like they're targeting the AI. I don't like that. Neither does Captain Y, by the way. Let's see if Captain Y is... Uh, Captain Y is still chilling, so that means that uh, nobody is on the bridge. Any case, uh, let's uh, let's just continue and see what happens. One North Edge is going far away. Ah, more cramps. No. Well, one North Edge is far away. The other one is heading on a collision course. I hope they don't have ramming AIs. <laughs> I. I Oh my god, I'm not looking forward to this FPS. Mm-hmm. Not looking forward to this. Oh no. Can you can you just not? Why? Like no. Get out of my face. Get no. Stop. N Mm. You're, you're, no, you're just opening up, not okay, get, no, not that part two. Hmm. So, for the Gimli battles, intentional melee is banned, unintentional melee isn't. This is, however, um... Not an official battle, because I haven't, uh, like, the, the, the North Edge is a lot cheaper, and now we're having two of them. And having two battle, uh, having two ships face the Gimle for official battles is not something I've agreed to, um, really. It's just that since we win over one North Edge, I want to see if the Gimle can beat two of them. And I expect it, it can't. But, yeah. What? Oh, no. This laser is looking sad. That's not good. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, so. Mm, oh, our AI is very exposed here. So our main AI is very exposed. Uh, the other AIs that were here a second ago are gone which means we will not be able to utilize our laser anymore. And yeah. So that's not great at all. All right. Yeah, it definitely I was starting to hope that we would win this battle, but I do believe we are uh, definitely not winning this battle against two north edges. 77 versus 86. Look at those. Ah, no, no. They're dealing so much damage. We need to be able to deliver some real crit hits in order to turn this battle around. But I do suspect that's quite unlikely at this point. The cram shells keep coming. It's not like the diff guns where you at a certain point uh, can stop worrying about getting shots at you. I wanna see about my Arcobalista Invictus. Look at that. This is um this is like sloped heavy armor. We're still almost able to kill it but not quite yeah that's that's some sleek calculations now the north edges decide to collide with each other instead <laughs> are you kidding me why well they weren't close a moment ago um man is that just lucky or what's going on here? Kill him, kill him. No! It has EMP too. Uh, why is this part of the ship missing? 
Oh no. Is it despawning? Is 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 it completely AI dead? Look at that. This ain't great. Yeah, well, um, as I said, this ain't great, but it's not great for the north edge either. We should probably check their... <laughs> this is my 64 pounder. Yes, I have one functional 64 pounder. No, it didn't hit. Well, never mind. The North Edge uh, decides to to uh, collide with itself. Um, I don't know if it's breadboard or something, but it doesn't seem to have the best collision avoidance. The Gimla has reached a nice number of 6 to 9 in terms of health. Uh, the game speed has decided to go down to less than half speed which ain't great. This one is shooting blanks. Not that one. That's the wrong thing. Somehow the lambs are still online. All right, this can go either way. We had some unlucky uh, damage taking from the Gimle and some unlucky uh, like Maneuverability from the north edge. Look at this thing. It's absolutely sad. 68 percentages. Oh, what's going on over here? We need to follow these cram shells. Ah! <laughs> Our fast fire cannon is completely offline. So. It's up to the remaining guns to see if they can deal with this situation. It doesn't look too good. It really doesn't. The pack is at least online. That's one good thing. Wow. They have stopped colliding with each other. It's good for the north edge. And very bad for the Gimle. Oh no. Oh no. The Arcabalista Invictus is not very Invictus anymore. It looks seriously sad. Interceptors are trying to deal with those. Yeah, that we don't have access to the laser anymore is really bad. That's really bad. Oh no! Big damage! It's like a question of time before uh, the AI gets an unlucky frag at it, isn't it? Yeah, it kinda is. 65 percentages. Oh! That was just at the sweet spot. No kill, it seems. This is this is this is painful to watch. Sixty-four percentages. Does the Gimli even shoot back anymore? The, this one is firing blanks. We have loads of crams popping in there. We're shedding turrets. Yeah, we're having a situation here. The Gimli is actually sinking. Oh no. Is it just me or are the north edges while losing going on on a very bad collision trajectory here again? Wow, okay, we're gonna see where this leads. The Gimli is at 62 percentages. Uh... Oh no! Okay, that's not that dramatic. 
but it's not looking good. Alright. I wonder if we're able to even deal damage anymore. I don't think we're like... Our laser AI is offline. So we have lambs, but that's about it. Like, lambs is something better than nothing, but... I don't see us dealing damage, to be honest. Well, I guess it was a little bit too uh, much to hope for to actually be able to beat uh, two north edges by two of from the depth sharpest builders um, with a 700,000 material disadvantage. It would have been unreasonable. But perhaps it could have happened, who knows. This time, however, the Gimle is definitely losing this battle. But I, 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 can, I can say that the Gimle can beat one North Edge um, pretty reliably, probably. Uh, but, but not two of them, not at a 700k material disadvantage. And it seems that the flaw in the design right now is that the AI can get exposed because it's only protected by double era and heavy armor and some stuff in front of it. Which just isn't enough. It's like a red flood just coming forwards. We're getting down to despawn territory there with the Gimle. So yeah, the Gimle can't beat two north edges in this particular battle, but I would uh, I would say it probably beats a north a single north edge. Uh, so that's 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 not nothing, because the north edge again is a very competent design, and it would have been unreasonable to think that the Gimle could have taken on two north edges with that 700k material disadvantage. It's uh, actually a lot. Hall for BBS 5th season, to be exact. In any case, hope you enjoyed this little battle. Um, if you're really interested, we, we can of course redo this Gimle versus two North Edges, best of three only. But I do believe that we uh, are out of time for this particular recording. So I will say thanks a lot for watching. Huge thanks to the channel members at YouTube and the commissioned officers in the Army of Jimidism. Did you know that you can join the Army of Jimidism for free? Check my video about that. Uh, otherwise, you can always become a commissioned officer. This is your host, Jimodism, and we are signing out from this little battle. I do hope that you did enjoy it, and I'll see you next time.